is record or replacement of a class or it has its own meaning so microsoft has introduced record in november 2020 with c sharp 9.0 so it's not something new it's already in the market from long time but we as a dev not oftenly use all the features of c sharp but at least we should be aware of you know when there is a situation if we have heard something we know little details we know what to use and when to use so we should be at least aware of such concept okay now let's dig into the code and try to explain all the things and also how actually microsoft write behind the scene when you go for a record type we are going to understand classes and records difference with these two pictures you see this window and then this record right if i talk now that may not make sense right or it would be a little hard to understand so while writing a code that will make more sense and at that time we will talk more one more thing we will use the sharp lab website where you know when you write a record what actually happened behind the scene right what c sharp does what microsoft c sharp does behind the scene okay now let's go to visual studio so we are using this console application right where i'm going to use just this program class and everything i'm going to write in the same file because you know our focus is to understand the concept okay so first thing you need a c sharp version 9 right or greater than 9 so i am using 10 right so let's go ahead and create our first record okay now there are two ways to write a record that microsoft has provided us okay let's go with very simple and easy way that we always use okay so let's go ahead and create one record and we all have to use use a record keyword here you go right record keyword okay now we need to say the name of record let's say a person okay so this is person right and here you go similar what you have done in the class right so what i can do let's go for property so i will say public and i will say you know string a I will say first name and here instead of set I will create the default record right so I will go for in it so this is something that you know Microsoft is using so we're going to talk about this in it as well what actually it does right so this is how you know the default behavior of record right when you declare a property it will go for get and with in it like initialize right so let's go for one more property uh, uh, uh let's say copy paste and instead of first name now i will say last name okay so let's fix it okay person is good now this was the one way now what the other way okay so let's you know do one thing let's just copy here paste it right and i'm going to comment it so now instead of you know creating that you know old way right we will go ahead and i will say okay string uh, uh, uh string and i will say first name right and i will say string uh, uh, uh let's say string and last name right and just semicolon and fix this as well right so this is the other way right the way we write method so similar way so both are going to behave same way right all up to you if you wanted to go with this something you know new right or if you wanted to go with old because you are comfortable with that old syntax right just replace class just replace class with record keyword and rest would be same right okay now let's try to use it okay let's create an object and i will say this is my first record okay and let's create an object the same way that we were doing always let's say person right now you must be confusing that you know what we are doing if everything is same that part is also coming just wait for a couple of more seconds okay okay so now let's say you know uh, 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 the first name let's say Parveen right and last name say Yadav right okay this is good but I think it is not happy and the reason is why let's say so it says a person does not contain a constructor that takes two argument 
who oh man i think they are good you know what do we have to do uh, uh not like this because this syntax is supported by this so if i can you know comment this code and i uncomment so you see it is happy now right so the kind of initialization also get changed if you are going with the new way right it take it as a constructor but if you go with the old way right it's all up to you how you are comfortable then we have to you know go with old fashion here as well so i will you know just create an object and i will say you know what i will say the first name is a uh, parveen right and then i have to go this way last name is um, 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 yadav right so both are same thing okay now you know what let's create one more record that is going to help us the concept you know that picture i talked initially so let's say this is my second record now you know let me show you that magic part so if i say console dot right line let's in the result so first i will say where and i will declare one more variable to store the record results so i will say first record uh let's say you know if it is equal or not and second record not this one let's say second record yes this one if they are equal right let's say equal and if not then say not equal right so let's say not equal and we are good now mm -mm, let's print it right let's print it okay now what will happen here so i think this should be equal right because first record this object has you know parveen yadav second also have parveen yadav right the values are same so let's see the magic now is it really going to behave the same way or little different okay then we will compare with a class so i'm going to hit it okay now let's see how it actually behaves okay ho oh, so you see they are saying equal perfectly fine they are equal okay now what if i change that to class okay now i'm going to change that to class okay so let's say class hmm now i'm going to do the same thing execute it and let's see how it behaves you see they are saying not equal right though the record is same okay now let's jump to uh, that diagram understand it this way so in your house there are two windows one on the left side second on the right side both have same size let's say 10 both have the same color say red right that is obvious right we mostly keep the same size and same color to give a good look and feel to our house so but actually they are not equal right they still are two different windows though they look similar right but in the record let's say you know this is just a resume right of Parveen Yadav similar here this is also a resume of Parveen Yadav right over here they are going to be equal though the page is different page could be different but you know the record inside that page are same they are of same person right that is why they are equal so same concept uh let's go to visual studio the same concept fall here if it is class they cannot be equal right but if it is a record they are equal now let me show you little more detail how actually it behaves behind the scene okay so now i'm going to do what i'm going to print few more details okay so let's say uh it was just a result now what i'm going to do i will you know print few more things so let's say console where are you console so console dot right line right and i will say not result this time i will say a uh, first record right so let's print out first record and i will say this is first record let's say first record this is good now let's go for second record so second record second record okay let's execute it let's see what actually happened behind the scene okay so you see since they were class right it printed what it printed that you know class thing right you see the same that dot person the namespace and then person namespace and then person because they actually behave them like object right but 
how about the record if i convert this into record right let's see what it behaves behind the scene okay so if i enter it you see it is comparing the data right comparing the data not that object so that means user record when you are more focused on the data right not on the unique business logic when you have a unique business logic at that time you can use a class and i and we don't need to you know even think of it right if you are more focused and focus just only on the data and also that immutable data right that really don't change right at that time go for record okay now you know one more thing let's talk about this init okay so records are immutable right what that actually means that means you know the immutable concept says if something is initialized once you can't really change right so same thing with the record so let's say this has been already initialized right now if i try to initialize let's say first record right first record dot let's say first name huh and then you know ah uh, if i try to do something like this anything you know let's say what it says so it is shouting you see it says that in it property this and that blah 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 right is an object initializer and why that because of this in it property right and this is the default behavior you can change it to set also right so c sharp 10 has you know overcome all of these limitations of record right but our focus is on the core of the record that's why i'm just talking about these things now there is something called non destructive mutation right so that concept also of record so what microsoft has done they are saying you know if you wanted to change something right so what happened in the class in class you know if you wanted to change something let's say you know there was a name called parveen yadav right now you have to change that to vikas yadav what you can do you have to create a new object and you know inject the data like this let's say vikas right and let's say yadav now there is a requirement that you wanted to change just the sir name right let's say there is a second record let's fix it uh, the spells are wrong come on pay not this one copy one more time paste paste and paste okay let's get back to our example right so now there is a requirement that i don't want to touch vikas the first name but you know somehow my requirement change that i just need to change the last name right what record says yes you can do that how there is something called non destructive mutation you can convert immutable records to non destructive mutation with the help of vid keyboard okay so what it says okay let's say where third record right i am going to create third record and here i will say okay i need second record with you know with this keyword right so i need with last name if i wanted to change let's say change name to you know something else right so this is my last name but you see i am not adding any first name right so now let's you know do one more thing let's print a third record a uh, 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 third record right so let's see how it behaves so i will say third record here paste it here and execute okay now let's see enter here you see see second record was vikas yadav but i have not changed anything in first name so here i was saying you know a uh, second uh, second record which was copying this copy this whole record into this and then just change the last name you see just change the last name so if you have a situation like this go for record because class won't help you here every time you have to create a new object and creating object will cause have to go for a lot of memory consumption okay so, so this was the non destructive mutation okay you know what if you go for record now so if i can show you here let's say you know uh, uh, one more interesting thing first record and if i say this like you know it will give you couple of more operators you see uh it says you know other than those it says you see equal to 
not equal to right so it support equality but in class this was not there if i change this to class right and now if i try to do the same thing you won't find all those operators here so you see let's go to the last here you see no intelligence right for those things so it support that equality thing you know some additional method inside record okay now how it behaves behind the scene right so let's go there in the sharp lab right so when you write a record how it behaves you know it add a couple of more things the first thing if i can show you let's go on the top and you see there is a class but it inherits from iq table but in the class when you write class there was no inheritance right but here it is right record they create class internally but they inherited it with i equitable and then they put your name the record name in it and those things you know those additional method we talked you see this print members and and you see this equal to operator right all those things are there right okay now you know other than this right not just this they also support inheritance let's you know just clean up some code and if i can show you a record also support inheritance so let's just copy a uh, uh, paste and i will say you know this is person this is person one and let's change this to record both are record now so if i copy paste now both are record now if i wanted to use the inheritance i can do that let's paste it here you see i can do that it also support abstract record so if you wanted to go for abstract you can do that right here you see but you know also you know sealed also so you can go for sealed also you see sealed but for sure it won't support inheritance now but it doesn't mean that you know everything whatever in the you know uh, class it will support no if you try to create it to static class you will see compiler is not going to happy and it says the modifier static is not valid for this item right so with this use classes when you know that you know every object have their own logic right their own business logic and you have some complex logic but for record when your focus is only and mainly on the data go for that and you know that data is not going to change right then why to go for a class go for record okay so that's all for today video i will see you in the next video